rotary cutting mat that's coming up. Hello Fashion Sewer, I'm Colleen Geely and welcome to FSB TV. If you're looking to improve your fashion sewing skills, consider subscribing and let's get started. So we are going to be talking about a particular mat which is going to be very important to be used with one of these, a rotary cutter. Do not have a rotary cutter unless you have a mat. Do not use this on any other surface unless you have a cutting mat. That is so important. You are going to destroy whatever it is that you are cutting onto if you're just going to use a rotary cutter. So always use a self-healing mat and that is what this is. So here is the mat and I am going to go into a bit more detail of what to expect on the mat. Cutting mat, a self-healing cutting mat. The reason why I call it self-healing is that Whenever you cut onto it with a blade, there's no evidence of it. You know, it just heals. There's no markings. You can press the hard as you like. And I'll do it again, giving it a lot of pressure. This is just no markings. Hence the reason it's called a self-healing mat. That's the reason why I'm telling you, do not use a blade unless you have a cutting mat under whatever it is you want to cut out. You can use it for, your paper can be on this, your fabric can be on this as well. So with the mat, it's double sided and what that means is there are measurements that are on this mat. So we have a measurement of, along the bottom here, of inches and along the side there are inches. So you've got one kind of 90 degree angle there of inches and then towards the top you're going to find that there are centimetres along the top here. So you can use them for inches and centimetres which is absolutely great. There are little grids on here as well which are a centimetre, these little grids here. All these tiny grids are about a centimetre. So, um, and it also has a 45 degree angle, which is coming that way, and a 60 degree angle as well. And it should have, on the opposite side, which I'll show you now, oh, there's another grid on the opposite side. So, um, on the opposite side, on this one, there are only centimetres. So these are centimetres, but from the thicker line here, that's two inches. So each one of these are centimetres, so that's five there, so that's five centimetres. So that would be two inches. So this box here, all these boxes here are going to be two inches square. And the little ones are going to be a centimetre square, and this five that makes up two inches. So that is the, I was going to about to say the right side, it's either the right side or the wrong side, it's whatever side you prefer to work with um, and that's one of the beauties of using a rotary cutter mat. So make sure your mat is going to be the rotary cutter's best friend. So remember, whenever you get your rotary cutter, you also get your mat and that's it. So, um, as I said, it's heavy duty. They come in amazing colours and also sizes. So there we have it, a rotary cutter mat. There are mats out there that has a lot more information on the mats, you know, smaller grids within the grid, grids within the grids and different lines. So they are a lot more versatile than perhaps the one that I have here. So do check them out because you're going to need it if you're using a rotary cutter. So if you are looking for awesome fashion sewing tutorials, consider subscribing and remember to hit the bell if you want to receive notifications. 
do share this video please leave a comment below i'll also put some links to my other rotary cutter tutorials that you may find of interest yeah. and i will see you next time